today at Walmart buying a new battery. Um, a reminder not to go to Walmart on a Sunday. So crowded, so many people. Anyways, my 330i's battery was completely dead. Um, Walmart has a good replacement for the cheapest price, really, that you can find um, for a good battery. Um, so I decided to go over and buy an Everstart. Um, and for my car, the size of the battery is H7. That's for a BMW 330i. So this battery runs for about $150. Um, again, correct one is H7 or 94R. Um, important to notice that you product the manufacturer date needs to be recent. So it could be one month, maybe two months ago, but recent, um, the better. I ended up with a manufacturer date of actually this month, February. So it worked out. Now, it's a struggle. It's a real struggle to get this battery in there because this is a really heavy battery. You gotta make sure you're doing the positive, you're putting the battery back how it was. So you want the positive side, which is with the red cable, to be on that side, on what is left side on the screen, and the negative, which is a minus, on the right, I guess now it's right side of the screen. Um, Here, it's really important that you put the vent tube into the battery. So this vents the battery's fumes towards outside of the car, and you have to make sure you hook it up to the right spot. If you forget to hook this up, um, obviously not good. Now, I actually did this at the store. I took the tool with me. As soon as I got into Walmart, I told the associate, hey, this is my tool. She gave me a little sticker to prove that it's actually my tool, it's pretty beat up, so, I mean, they don't even sell it at Walmart. Anyways, I hooked it up on the battery at Walmart, and kind of went through all the stuff that you're seeing now, uh, just to test the battery to be good. Um, you want voltage to be anywhere from 12.2 to 12.8. Um, anything less than that, it's not a good battery. Um, and so this battery analyzer analyzes the battery to make sure that it's at 100% or somewhere near 100%. Um, I bought batteries before from Walmart and other places and they're completely dead when I get home. And so I always just take this analyzer with me just to make sure uh, battery is good and I don't have to make another trip back out to the store. Thanks for watching and um, stay tuned. I'm waiting on some parts to actually make some exciting videos. Um, I know this was a very short kind of random video on replacing your battery, but yeah, stay tuned.